Welcome back to more Drahman, Story of Seasons, Friends of the Great Kingdom, everybody. So in the last episode, we ended up um, actually getting all of the story, um, what do you call them, like the the story quest finally completed. We do have a lot of cutscenes to um, to trigger, uh, but actually, where do I have to go to trigger those cutscenes? Okay, well yeah, those we're going to get close to being done, but there's only, I think there's one more? Oh, there's several more. There's... Chitter Chirp Wood, Sunshine Beach. Okay, and then we'll get some more soon. Got it. Well, let's run this way. Alright, so we're gonna start... Here, get something to Garrett. So both of them are done. Wait, let me just make sure. There's nothing over there now. We're good, we're good. And I already talked to Big G. Yeah, so we're good. Let's go over here. And here's the cutscene. Well, we've come all the way out to the tackle shop, but I wonder if Ori's even here. Moiner, let's check inside. The both is is seven. He's not too far from our age. The perfect first candidate. Huh. Oh, he's here. Hey, Ori. Nobi and Sue, hi. Here for some bait? Hello, Ori. Actually, we came to speak with you. With me? Say, Ori, have you had any trouble lately? Anything you need help with? What's this all about? Well... We just want to thank you for always taking care of our tackle needs. You should talk to my dad then. Want me to go get him? No, that's okay. It's you we want to help. It could be anything at all. Okay. In that case, I know just the thing. What might that be? The tackle shop's anniversary is coming up soon. And so, I want to get my dad a present he's he'll really like. This is like a great idea. What are you going to get him? Well, he likes fishing and he likes fish, eating them, I mean. So I thought it would be awesome to land him a catch that so, so big that even he hasn't caught it yet. A catch too big for your dad, is there even a fish that big? Sure there is, it lives in a lake nearby. And it's absolutely huge, dad called it the Big Kahuna. Has your father tried to catch it before? He said he has, I've never seen it myself, but I heard him talk about it. He says it's really smart and careful, so it rarely ever shows itself. Hmm, sounds like this big kahuna won't be an easy catch. You know anything else about it? I guess. Wait a minute. Dad said that when he saw it, he was so surprised he dropped an octopus into water and it went nuts. An octopus as in the eight-legged kind? Yeah, maybe that's a favorite food. That's about all I know, though. Such a few people have seen it, so I don't even know where it actually is. Hmm, that sure doesn't sound like mysterious fish. It's going to be tough. All I could think of was going to be a was going to fish, or wait, was going to fish a bunch every day and hoping I'd come across it. Thanks for telling us about it. If you can wait a little, we'll try to come up with something. Thanks. Nobi, soon. You wanted to talk to me? We're hoping you'll be able to help us out with this one thing. You see, Ori is... Are you serious? I know you're trying to earn the Queen's trust, but do you really have to go that far? Don't you want to help Ori? It's not that I don't, but... Please, Luana, we don't know what to do. Doesn't Doraemon have one of his gadgets for you to use? I don't think so. I don't think he's got any gadgets for fishing. Hmm, really? Anyway, the big kahuna. You have no idea where to even begin looking. Yeah, Ori says not many people have seen it. All we know is what he and Kai have told us. Trying to track down a fish like that without anything to go on doesn't sound very smart. We don't find anything unless we go out and look. I have a better idea. Instead of us wasting time searching for it, we can wait for it to come to us. Sounds like a plan, but how? All we need is some ground bait to attract its attention. Ori mentioned it right after the octopus, right? We can make some strong bait with it and lure it out. Wow, great idea, Luana. Isn't it? I'll start looking into how to make it right away. Meanwhile, I'll need to find the materials and bring them to me. 
We got it. Off you go then. All right. Well. Wait. Oh, that's right. I was gonna say, what the hell? Okay. No, it just warps us back over here, so we do have to run back now. To-do list updated. Okay, let's see here. Give Luana octopus times one. See, that I do have. I think for that I can fish. And I, I think I fished in the beach, actually, for that. I'm pretty sure. But uh, anyway, so yeah, I went down to the beach, so I never actually got a chance to talk to Kai. I talked to the roving diner people. So let's go down there then. And I'll see if I can actually catch a um, an octopus here. Okay, here's Kai and Ori. We'll talk to both of them. There we go. And then, yeah, we'll try fishing here. Right, let's see. I, I feel like I've caught octopus here before. This is where I got that big one, I remember. The one that I turned in for the, um... For the contest. That was a horse mackerel. That is not what I thought it was going to be. Still waiting, still waiting. Go. Okay, now I'm not finding the... I swear I got the, the octopus here, though. At least during the, um... The contest, that's where I got it. I'll try a few more here to see if this works, but if it doesn't, then I'm not actually sure. No? I'm getting a huge variety of fish, but that's not the one I want. Okay. Now it is time to go. Uh, well, okay, now I'll just, I'll keep talking to people, because now it's past nine, so I can actually go to the clinic and all of those places. And just go in that order, I suppose. I'll get to Lu Luana eventually. Okay, nobody's there. Let's get our uh, material stone ready. Wait. Oh, hold on, is today the festival? Oh my god, I just realized, today's a festival. Oh, I'm so freaking stupid. Okay, well. Oh shoot, it totally is. Okay, well in that case, let's go. Yeah, it, it just occurred to me. My god, it actually just occurred to me. Okay. Oh yeah, but there's a cutscene here in Chitter Chirp Woods, I just remember, so. Oh, what a beautiful day. Leaf and Intermistians are hell of a ramp. Wonder what they're up to. So you're traveling the world to become an accomplished botanist. You're quite the inspiring young man, Leaf. Traveling the world at your age, I'm impressed. Oh, it's really nothing. Don't be so modest, I've barely taken a step beyond this town for like I remember. You live in the dream, makes me wish I could leave everything behind and go through the world too. The town wouldn't be at the same without you, Belle. Knowing her, she say it was too much trouble and gave up before she even finished her first mile. Hmm. What was that? Hmm? What was that? Now, now, you two. Whatever, I probably wouldn't like being on the road all the time anyway. Although, it would be great to hear stories from other places. Say, why don't you share some stories with us? I'll admit, I don't know much about plants, but I'm guessing you've seen a lot more of interesting sights and people. I have to say, I'd be interested to hear about those as well. Well, I don't mind, but... I said there's no need for us to stand outside. Why don't we make ourselves comfortable with a nice pot of tea? Leaf can regale us with his stories in the comfort of my home. Good idea. <laughs> what do you say, Leaf? 
With my apologies, but I'm rather in the mood for a stroll in the forest today. Oh dear. Today of all days, you can wander around the forest any old time. There's nothing I'd rather do today than take a leisurely stroll with the sun on my skin. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll take my leave. That was very suspicious. <clears throat> a little strange. He's so weird. He took the words right out of my mouth. Hey, what were you guys talking about? Hello there, Nobi. I invited Leaf over, but he turned down my offer. We asked Leaf to tell us some stories, but he said he wanted to take a walk and split. Guess that's Leaf for you. It's unfortunate. We really wanted to hear stories from his travels. Oh. That is unfortunate, but wait a minute. Why don't we just head over the forest ourselves? And why would we do that? If Leaf's hanging out there, you might feel like talking if we're there too. Mm, I see. I hadn't thought of that. That reminds me. I had made some food for Belle and myself. Why not take it and have ourselves a picnic? That sounds like fun. Now we're talking. Thank you, Grant. Let's go find Leaf so he can join us. Hmm. Let's see. And neighboring the town was this enormous behemoth of a waterfall. I meant to observe the flora and the area, but found my senses captivated by the waterfall's majesty instead. The sheer abandon with which the flood plunged from its dizzying precipice like an unbridled force of nature. Cool. Whoa, what are you guys talking about? Liv was just telling us about a waterfall he saw during his travels. Apparently it was huge. That does indeed sound like a sight to behold. I've seen waterfalls during my travels too. Just how big was this waterfall of yours? There's a waterfall near our town too. How did I compare to that? Though in this tiny comparison, this was at least a hundred times bigger. A hundred times? I can't even imagine something that big. If it was a hundred times bigger, that means the volumetric flow rate. Oh, who cares? <laughs> if it was only a hundred times bigger, then that's always even bigger. That's impressive. I didn't know your planet had such a big waterfall. Where in the world was this waterfall anyway? Hmm. <clears throat> Nobody cares about your waterfall story. The walls were so powerful, there was a wet breeze in the air all the way into the small town nearby. With such plentiful water, the plant life must really thrive. Tell me, Leaf, what kind of fruits grow there? Fruits? Let me think. Fruits are nice now, but I want to hear more about this huge waterfall. I'd love to hear about the architecture in the area. Does it differ greatly from ours? Oh, I'd be interested in that too. Hmm, one at a time, folks. Today was great. Wasn't it? Leaf has so many stories about things I'd never even imagined. I get goosebumps listening to him. And when he describes the landscape he's come across, oh, I get giddy just thinking about them. That's right. His stories are way better than yours, Sneege. You can't expect tales of Earth to trump his tales of his foreign planet. And that Tony was talking about, I can't believe it exists on Iluma. It sounds so much more scenic than ours. There are plenty of scenic views here, too. And my favorite is the view of the castle from the observatory. True, there are a few scenic highlights around these parts. Personally, I enjoy Sunswept Hill after clearing the Whitewoods. That golden wheat soothes my soul. I love watching Sunset at the Cape. It's the best. What else do we have around here? I suppose there's the Fairy Found. You do know it's just a fairy tale, don't you? <laughs> What's the Fairy Found? Oh, that's right. You guys haven't heard of it. The Fairy Found is said to be somewhere in the Whitewoods. The spring there is absolutely breathtaking. They say a fairy lives there and makes wishes come true. Is that how it goes? I thought you'd bring the fairy an offering and she gives you something in return. You're not wrong, there are many rumors about the fairy found. A spring like that can't exist, can it? Well... <clears throat> the Whitewoods do cover a lot of land. There are parts of it I still haven't discovered. I wouldn't be surprised there was a hidden spring somewhere. I see. I want to check it out, this fairy tale sound, er, sounds great. You don't honestly believe there's a fairy, do you? It's up to you whether to believe it or not. Word of advice though, don't go wandering too far into the woods, you're bound to get lost. Roger Dodger. Look at the time, Belle, we should get going. By the way, Gran, the food was great. It even loosened Leaf's lips enough to tell us a bunch of stories. Thanks. I had such a wonderful time. Perhaps we could do this again sometime. You can stop by the house anytime you'd like, Leaf. I'd love to chat. Alright then, I'm heading back. Bye. We should get going too. Yeah. I wonder what kind of place the fairy found is. I can't get out of my head. Okay, I mean, that was a good, uh, that was actually a long scene, so halfway through that cutscene I actually ended up doing a cut because I had to take care of some stuff, but, um, yeah, and I figured, like, right now, so it's like a new recording, technically, that I had to cut. My recording is at 5 minutes and 40 seconds right now, um, and that was all, most of the cutscene. 
but I know that the actual video is like 18 minutes or something. Um, okay, so... Yes, I was going to the square, because nobody else is... Well, except Mally. I do need to talk to Mally. Okay. <clears throat> oh, actually, no, I can't, because I have to trigger Ori and Kai's next scene. Okay, I do want to see, though. Um, uh, wait a minute, these aren't checkmarked. <clears throat> what the heck? Hold on. I thought I... Okay, I do need to give the octopus to Luana. Yeah, but see, I... Oh, wow. I guess that's that doesn't count as close enough? That's weird. Okay, well, I'm gonna just give gifts to everybody, obviously. <clears throat> Let's do it. You can take that. There's Ghidori. Okay, are there any more? Go to the smithy. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> oh my god, my throat is killing me. What the heck? Oh, my bad. Okay, everybody in the house I already give a gift to. Here's Gran. Here's Luana. Okay, so... Can I give you this? There we go. You've been a great help. I hope you'll mind asking another favor in the future. Okay, anything new? To-do list updated. Wait until tomorrow. Okay, that's all it says. Got it. So, all of these, wait, I, I don't remember, okay, the reason why I don't remember who I already gave gifts to is because, again, that cut that I did, and it's like a few hours later when I'm re-recording now. Wait, but I gave stuff, yeah. So I went there, I definitely talked to all of these then. So, well, the main issue is that Leaf, Leaf is not checkmarked. I don't know why, it's... Everyone else is checkmarked. Hmm. You have no one else to put out. So that means I can't participate in it. Well, that's unfortunate. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why Leafs is not checkmarked. That thing should be checkmarked. But anyway... We have to go to the smithy. So I think the easiest way, I'll just go like this. But yeah, it sucks that I can't participate in the, um... You know... In the festival, I mean, obviously I don't have an animal, so I can't do much about that, but... I'm gonna go in here... To trigger the next cutscene. No, but I heard the news, so Ghidori's living with you, is he? I know he can be a stubborn kid. He hasn't caused any trouble, has he? Well, I thought as much there is that rebellious streak of his after all. Some friends asked for help, but Ghidori refused, said they should have just learned to do it themselves. Then everybody got mad. Sounds like you kids had quite the row. What do I do? I just want Ghidori to get along with everyone. I'm not sure there's anything you can do. He's always been like that. Takes after his old man. He ain't about to change that easy. He said his dad died in the mining accident, right? That's right. He was as stubborn as they come. He was always on about how a man has to be strong depending on others as a sign of weakness. He was strong though, so maybe he had a point. That he was, he could lift rocks twice my weight like they were nothing, all by himself too. That's amazing. Maybe Ghidori just wants to be like his dad. A strong person who can do anything all on their own. I'd say the kid took his dad's convictions to heart and wants to try and keep his memory alive. Thing is, his old man still got done in that, in that cave-in. Ain't no getting out of that, no matter how strong you are. When I heard it, he was telling Ghidorah to be strong, even as he slipped away under those rocks. Now, it's an admirable thing, wanting to carry in on your dad's footsteps, no arguing with that. But there's only so much a man can do all by himself. Some rocks are still too heavy, but together, who knows? Maybe one day, Ghidorah will figure that out for himself. Yeah, maybe. Together, huh? 
How can I get Ghidori to understand that? No, oh, there's Ghidori. Are you okay? What are you doing out here by yourself? Oh, hey, Nobi. I just don't feel like going inside. Why not? Did you get into another fight? What? No, I don't like it. All I do is get into fights. The truth is, I lost my pick. Your pick? No way. We've got to fight, even though he literally has it right behind him. Huh? What's that you're carrying? Oh, Loomis and the others found it. They did? When they noticed I didn't have it, they went all over the house and the mines looking for it. Well, that's a relief. Why don't you want to go inside? Well, I... It's just I've never done anything for them. But as soon as they found that I'd lost my pick, they went all over look looking for it. Why would they do that? I don't even know what I should say to them. I should have been able to find it by myself. How long did it take them to find it? They found it in a snap. It made me look like I was an idiot to even bother searching my myself. You know, I was talking to Going Man Get Out earlier. Your dad was pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, so what? They said a lot of great things about him, how he was super strong, how he could do anything all by himself. Do you want to be like your dad? I'm going to be super strong, just like him, and I won't have to depend on anybody. That's why I try as hard as I can every day. It makes me so mad when I see people like Sneech, who can't do anything without relying on someone else. Everyone needs help at times, though. Sometimes there's no avoiding it. Hmm. I live far, far away from my mom and dad on a totally different planet. It's not always easy. At first, I didn't know the first thing about Iluma. But they asked Loomis and he taught me so much stuff. Thanks to him, I'm doing okay now. And to repay him, I'm working on the farm. We are, we all are, and we're going to make a, a total makeover. I guess what I'm saying is working together lets you accomplish wonders. Like your pick, it would have taken you ages by yourself, so instead everyone teamed up and found that lickety stick. Accomplish wonders, huh? Get over there, you are. <clears throat> no, you're here too, Nobi. Welcome back. Hi, Sue. Your timing couldn't be better. I have to move some things, but they're a little too heavy. If you're not too busy, would you mind helping out? I'd be happy to. Alright, here goes. Nobi? Is it too heavy for you? Don't hurt yourself. I'll just ask Big G when he gets back. You guys are hopeless. If all you need is to move some stuff around, I'll do it. What? He's actually helping now. Hmm, he's slowly learning. For real, is Ghidori going to help? Really? And Sneech was so sure he would never help us. That's all, Pichin. You're way better at this than Nobi. Is that everything? Are we already done? Yes, thanks to Ghidori, you finished no time. Wow, thank you so much, Ghidori. Thank you to you too for earlier. For what? Thank you for finding my pick. No way, I can't believe Ghidori actually said thank you. What's so weird about that? It's not weird at all, you're welcome. Yeah, don't mention it. What made you change your mind, though? I couldn't let Nobi do it by himself, it would have taken all day. I'm back. And you're not needed anymore, Biggie. You can just turn around and walk away. <laughs> I'm kidding. Biggie, listen to this. Ghidori actually helped us carry all of our stuff. It was a big help. Oh. Good job, Apprentice. I knew you had it in you. Big G. You can keep it up. If I feel like it. Hmm. That was good. That was, like, really good. Okay, so let's see. That one's done. I want to see if any more stuff get unlocked. I don't think so, but just to make sure. Okay. I'm gonna just see if. No, see, it, it's really, it's really weird that only this one. Why is it like that? I mean, I'm as close to Leaf as, like, the other characters, aren't I? I mean, yeah. That's why I find it to be really strange. But, um, anyway, let's go ahead and put some more stuff in here. Should I put these... 795? Oh, wow, should I ship this? I guess I should, I, I don't know. Okay, so today, I feel like I should... Wait, is this watered? Hold on. It is, okay. 
Um, I feel like today I should... Because, you know, I have all this stamina. But one thing that I actually haven't really done that I know I'm going to need eventually is to get a bunch of wood. So... I think what I should do today is not go to the mine because I'm kind of over it right now. It's the highest charge red. Is that. I'm, I'm just going to get a bunch of wood everywhere and I just store it in my, you know, my storage there. <laughs> well, where else would I store it? Store it in my storage. Wow. Now, when you do this, uh, you don't want to chop the ones that actually give you, um, like, fruit and stuff. You gotta be very careful about that. Like, I can chop all these, I think. Oh, that only take one. That's amazing. Can I chop these? Yeah, see, so you can only chop certain trees. Usually, you can kind of tell because of how they look visually compared to, like, everything else. It's almost like you're not part of the background, but they're like a foreground thing. It's a little hard to explain, but you should be able to get the hang of it um, after a while. Like, this one looks choppable, too. What? Or not? I guess it's not. I mean, you can examine it, though, which is weird. Okay, so maybe if they give fruit, then you can't chop them. Because see, in the other game, I think you could chop them. Which is what screwed me over sometimes, because I wasn't aware that, oh, that they give fruit in like a later season or something. Let me try. Yeah, see? See how I won't let you? Because it's a fruit tree. That's actually really good on the game's part. That way you don't mess up. Because I feel like in the other Doraemon game, you could do that. Without knowing that you just chopped a fruit tree. Okay, we'll just keep it. Is that it then? Ooh, these are the big ones. Let's take three. The black trees. Please give out hardwood. There we go. Just give me all this wood, because I know I'm going to need this eventually, you know? Like all this wood. Uh, tier 2. Yep. I have reached half. And then, yeah, so you can't, you can't, you cannot chop those either. Oh shoot, I approached that one too fast. There was a bug on it actually. That was my bad. What is that? Is that a bug? Oh my god, it is. Orchid Mantis, okay. Let's keep going. I mean, it's kind of fun actually. Just going around breaking all the trees. Okay, anything else over here? This one looks like a fruit tree, yeah, it does. So does this one. There's one more over here. And then I don't see anything down there. I guess that's it for all of this. I'll just go back to Mingle Creek. I mean, we got a fair amount of stuff here. Uh, this one takes me to where? To the cape. Um, I mean, I get... Well, there's actually nothing here in the cape. Well, except this. You can sometimes find one or two little forgeable items, but other than that, not much. Hmm. Yeah, not much else there. Well, I guess I'll just go and ship the stuff. I mean... It's fine, I think. It's fine. 
It's actually some decent money, I guess, from all the stuff I found. I may also be able to find some stuff over here. Yeah, see, look at that. Sometimes there are like dandelions and other items here. Did I talk to the otter and the horse today? Uh, I guess I did. Because when you press it once, yeah, it's to talk to them and then you press it again to mount. Okay, well, I'll just put everything away now. Or a ship, I should say. Those are all worth 10 each. Um... Okay, I want to see something. Oh, so you can do that. Okay, but you can't do that if they're different ranks. Here, I'm sorting them by ranks. I got a five-star one. That's crazy. Yeah, I know I have leftover stamina today, but I just don't want to go to the mine today. I'll take a day off. It's fine. I can nap. You can nap on the bed. 4176. That is amazing. I should really spend this money now. I just gotta think of how I'm gonna do it. Okay, but I wanna see. Any cutscenes for progression? Novi. Hey, Ghidori, what is it? I wanted to thank you for letting me live here. You really helped me out. And that's something I wanted to tell you about that might help you out. Like what? Here. It's Dogen Charm. If you take a charm with you when you go mining, it makes certain materials easier to find. Different charms work on different materials, so you can swap them out to get what you want. Wow. I can make them for you. If you ever want one, just bring me the materials and say the word. Thanks, Kidori. Using charms while working the mines makes it easier to find certain items, which items get easier to find depends on the type of charm. Each charm is a single-use item, and its effects only last for a fixed amount of time before wearing off. Hmm. Okay. So we got a free charm. Okay, wait until tomorrow. Check marked. Waiting for ground bait is complete. Catching the big kahuna, finding the ruins, the depths of the wet woods, all for you. Okay. Hmm. Well, just gotta keep befriending. I don't know why Leafs is a higher requirement, though, than the others, because he's at the same level as others. I think it's very strange. Hmm. Alright, well, let me just, uh, talk to everybody and give them stuff. That is not what I wanted to do. I'm trying to talk to Sue. Okay, I want to see that charm that I got. Um, oh, I thought I got a free charm. I guess not. Didn't he just give me a free charm in that cutscene? I thought he did. Here's Luana. Okay, so that is, uh, okay, one, two, three, f and Luana, so it's really just... Oh, wait, there's a cutscene out here. Good morning, Novi. Good morning, Minister Plumsworth. I wanted to inform you that the horse race will be held already. Horse race, huh? Anyone is welcome, we'll get a horse to enter. If you'd like to try your hand, then it come see... Okay. They put, like, two events, like, within three days of each other. Or within two days of each other, actually. Because yesterday was a festival. Okay. We're gonna give you this. Take it. Because Ghidori, what are you doing here? I've never seen you here before in the morning. I guess I should see what you want for charms. 
Thanks, Charms. Hmm. A few more fossils than usual, a few more ores, a few more jewels. That's good to know. Okay, oh wait, the horse, my bad. Gotta talk to the horse. Okay, I need to see how many hearts do I have with those horse. Half a freaking heart, are you kidding me? That is so bad. I'm barely making any development with them. They're not even at one heart yet. I gotta start giving them stuff then. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, I guess with Leaf, that means I need to um, have Leaf at a higher heart level than anyone else. That is so weird. Here is this, so I can capture it with my bug net. And let's just start going around giving stuff to everybody here. Here, take that. And then here's Big G. I don't need to talk to you though. We are good. Okay, let's take a look at the bulletin board. Cushion carb, aloe, sandwich, morning glad. They all look pretty hard. Oh wait, let me say something. Horse race, yeah, 30th, animal contest, 20th. Mm, okay. It's all good. Let's go back in the diner here. Alright, done with those two. Um, I think I'll head down first. That's usually my go-to, my go-to, uh, you know, route for the day. Although I, I think I would like to see though, because you know, that brush, does the animal shop sell the brush? Because honestly, I don't know. Also, is Ori here? He is. Oh, the, what the hell? I came so early. I like never come this early, I guess. Well, there you both go. That was easy. And now I'm just gonna run back up to the top. Okay, so today's a Monday. Um. I'm about 15,000. Okay, when day are you closed again? You close on Saturdays. That I, th I think would actually work. Okay. Oh, here you are. Hello, Gogmir. Take this. Alright, easy enough. And now, we'll go to Chitter Chirp Woods, talk to three more people over there, and that covers everybody for today, except the clinic, of course. Because I did even find Ghidori today. Alright, and finally, the workshop. I've been thinking about maybe, you know, getting some kind of upgrade here, but I just don't know. And yeah, that's actually it, so we'll just have to go back down to the clinic. By the time I get there, it should be 9 o'clock. 
which Stacy will uh, wake up. Okay, they're gonna be up here. Mally is still, um, yeah, that's still closed off. Also, it's funny that, like, in the cutscene, Aiden, like, basically left, but he's, like, still here, actually, for gameplay purposes. I think it's kind of funny when, when, like, video games do that kind of stuff. And then, yeah, we talked to Ori. Okay, we're done for today. So all there's really left is to go to the, um, to the mine. So I didn't want to spend some money on stuff, but... Hmm. Buy tools. Okay, so I would like to buy... Okay, does, does your horse... Can your horse take treats? Okay, I'm gonna buy one. Just to see if your horse can take treats. I just don't know, you know? Um, and I definitely want to buy the brush. Wait, why is the brush 50? What the hell? I mean, I guess I can... Whoops, I don't want to do that. First purchase at Mary's Livestock. Should I just buy these other tools? I mean, they're only 50 each. I mean, I guess. I don't freaking know. I like barely anything, so I figured I might as well do it. Okay, um... Sneech. I found you, so come with me. Doesn't really matter who I take, I prefer Sue, because Sue's nicer, but... I guess you'll do, you know? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna dump these two things in there. We're also gonna dump... Those two in there. Also, this that thing's just wasting a spot, I think. And so is the sickle, actually. But am I even gonna upgrade it soon? I mean, probably not. But I feel like I probably should. I'm just saying. Okay, well, all this stuff. Um, I can just leave it there. It's fine. It's fine. Cause like I wanted to upgrade the sickle, but they only only open until past ten. And, okay, well, let, let's test this out first. Let's go over here. And see if... No, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. No, oh my god, you can take both of us? That's crazy. Oh, see, you can. You can give a snack. Okay, so if I want to befriend my horse... Oh, wait, I didn't, I didn't even brush you, dude. That is so horrible. The whole point of buying the brush was so I can do this. Okay, but see, that's how I think I'm going to be able to get friendship with the horse faster. Talk, brush, and snack. All three. And uh, actually, I think for the otter too, I might be able to give the otter a snack as well. I don't know. I actually don't know. I can try it though. I mean, I'm going to go back and buy a bunch of stuff. So, here's, here's what I'm going to do. We'll start by coming in here. I'm gonna buy... Luckily they're pretty cheap. I'm gonna buy 20. Let's buy 20 animal treats. Then we're gonna go and buy... Well, there's two things I wanna get. The first is actually... Right over here. Wait, he, he like just got here? He's late. Okay, upgrade tool. Yeah, see, we can do these. Um, I guess let's do it. It's because I want to get everything to silver. Oh, that's actually iron level. What the hell? Yes. Iron fishing rod? 
Then I can do this one to Silver Fishing Rod. If I really wanted to. But then that's not going to get me the stamina that I need. Oh, shoot. Um, at least not for today. I mean, I guess that's fine. Okay, there. Every tool is now literally at silver level. For gold, I would actually need to get... Looks like a ruby of some kind. Okay. But yes, I was hoping I would get the upgrade. I don't have enough money. I'm short on a little bit. I was hoping to spend 8,000 8, money so I can get the uh, stamina upgrade as well. But I feel like that's going to have to wait. Unfortunately. That's okay though because I did get enough uh, upgrades or enough purchases for today. Let's go and find the otter. Okay, I'm also going to deposit the fishing rod and the scythe. Because they're just wasting, like you know when I cycle through tools? They're honestly just wasting, like, cycling, and I end up getting confused with my tools and everything. It's crazy. Especially now that I have the brush, that's going to be another addition. Yeah, so you like animal treats. It's perfect. Can you be brushed? I really doubt it. Yeah, no. I don't think so. I can lift you, but that doesn't do anything. But yeah, now that I upgraded them... I'm just gonna dump them in there, that's fine. Let's put that plus that. Because I think the three tools I use the most would be these three, generally. Well, the pickaxe too. The pickaxe, I should, I should actually place it there. Yeah, these four are the ones I use the most. Hoping that uh, that means very soon this week I can get the upgrade that I'm looking for. Was there a bug down there? Oh, I thought there was. Never mind. But yeah, my stamina upgrade. I really want that. I just want to see how many hearts it'll give me. Oh, perfect. I could use these. It'll give me the money that I need. All right, and off to the mine again, I guess. Uh, Gogmir, or not Gogmir, Gidal is here. Uh, Sneesh just ran away. Did you see what he just did right now? He like turned his back on me. I was about to just be like, all right, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I already talked to you, right? Just making sure, okay. All right, let's go ahead and do this here. I'm going to write a diary entry on this file. Alright, gotta help me, Sneech. Oh, perfect! First try. Sneech. Wow, maybe Sneech is a very good miner and Sue sucks. <laughs> I don't know. No, I know it's random. Nobody's, like, better at something. I don't think so. I mean, if so, I would guess that Ghidorah would be the best miner. If people actually had their own strengths. But I don't think that matters. Oh, I took yours. My bad. Found it. Read diary. Okay, so it's this one right here. We'll take it. And we will write diary again, save. some silver. That's not bad. Okay, 
Hmm, not finding it again, though, unfortunately. Well, damn. Hmm, where could this damn thing be? My god. There it is, okay. Yeah, I'll definitely read. Okay, wait, so it was here? No, not that! Oh wait, okay, whatever, that worked. Thought I messed it up right there for a sec. Oh my god, what luck. It was... Jesus. I'll take it. <laughs> That's the first time in a while that I've gotten it on the first hit. I mean, Sneech got on the first hit in the first floor, but that was Sneech. That was not me. Okay, so on this floor, I think I need to start seeing if I actually find anything pretty decent. Because again, nothing. Yeah, because I'm getting like okay stuff, but not really. Uh, I think I'm gonna read here. Yeah, it's just it's not worth it yet. I think the next floor will be. No, I'm running out of time too though, so I really do have to hurry up here. We are in, yeah, B5F. Um, I think by this point it's a pretty good floor to just start, you know, whatever I get, I get. Gold, that's a good start. I know I need gold and silver, that'll help too, I guess. I'll just start hitting these two, I don't even care. Nothing yet. We'll find it. Yeah, I guess I gotta end the video too. Oh man, this is some bad luck though. Oh shoot, I took yours. You just stop coming over here to take your own. Triceratops fossil, fern fossil. Anything? No. Hmm. Yeah, I know somebody see I'd already hit one, so I'm just gonna use level one here. Oh my god, why does my luck so freaking horrible? Oh my god, it was the one that was a freaking different color? You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, no, I gotta end this. I'm trying to just wrap this up by using my stamina. And then I'm gonna nap, and then in the next video, I'll just continue from here. Yeah, yeah I'm getting good stuff, so like, that's fine. Still nothing. Well, not good luck right there. He still hit that one. Oh my god. Okay, let's just go back out and nap. I know we are definitely out of time here. I think until 19 is good. 
But this is why I need... Did he just insult me? He did, huh? This is why I need more stamina, though. It will definitely be helpful. I shipped 87's worth of money. That is so sad. Alright, so before this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.